हेलो एवरी वन सो टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर वील बी डिस्कसिंग वॉट आर द क्लिनिकल फीचर्स एंड मैनेजमेंट ऑफ स्कॉर्पियन स्टिंग्स सो इन इंडिया देर आर टू काइंड ऑफ स्कॉर्पियन वन इज द रेड स्कॉर्पियन एंड अनादर इज द ब्लैक स्कॉर्पियन द रेड स्कॉर्पियन इज ऑल्सो नोन एज मिजोब्यूथस एंड द ब्लैक स्कॉर्पियन इज नोन एज पलमनियस so these two the red scorpion and the black scorpion these are the poisonous scorpions found in india okay and the glands in the terminal part of the tail they produce the venom that is injected by a stinger so glands in terminal segment of tail produces venom which is injected by a stinger now coming to the clinical features so most stings are minor the clinical features of the envenomation develop within 2 to 12 hours of the sting by a poisonous scorpion so there can be two kinds of features one is the local features and another is the systemic features so first coming to the local features in the local features the sting is followed by intense pain at the site there will be intense there may be often mild palpation or tapping over the site mild palpation or tapping over the site okay and the pain and numbness may radiate up to the extremity so these are the local features now coming to the systemic features so what are the systemic features they reflect the sympathetic parasympathetic and neuromuscular excitation so initial features are due to transient cholinergic hyperactivity transient cholinergic hyperactivity so the initial features are of transient cholinergic hyperactivity now these symptoms they produce what they produce restlessness anxiety vomiting profuse sweating salivation sensation of tongue thickening sensation of tongue thickening dysphagia bradycardia hypotension and priapism dysphagia bradycardia hypotension and priapism now these are followed by sustained adrenergic hyperactivity followed by sustained adrenergic hyper activity so in this it will result in hypertension tachycardia chest discomfort cold extremities and myocardial failure
Hypertension occurs within 6 hours of the sting while pulmonary edema uh, can occur between 2 to 56 hours after being stung. Hypertension within 6 hours of sting pulmonary edema between 2 to 56 hours of being stung. So in late stages hypotension and shock develop. Now ECG features are suggestive of myocarditis. Now coming to the management. Management of scorpion sting. So mild analgesic for relieving pain. Mild analgesics for pain relief. Tetanus vaccine according to the status of the patient. According to vaccine or immune status of the patient. Monitoring of cardiac rhythm, conduction disturbances and oxygen saturation. Then if there is respiratory failure, then you need to intubate the patient. Correction of the fluid deficit. Here we need to be cautious not to give large amount of fluid without proper monitoring because there is a risk of pulmonary edema. Next is Prazosin. Now what is the dose of Prazosin? 0.25 milligram to 0.5 milligram every 4 to 6 hours in order to control the hypertension. Now it is an antidote for scorpion stings. Another alternative to this is nifedipine. However, it should be avoided in presence of tachycardia and impending congestive heart failure. Alternative is Nifedipine. Now if there is hypotension, we can give dopamine infusion. Prazosin and furosemide can be used to control pulmonary edema. Glucose infusion, uh, glucose insulin infusion may be beneficial in systemic and venomation. Glucose insulin infusion may be beneficial in systemic and venomation. Role of serotherapy is controversial.
so to summarize in a nutshell first of all there are two kinds of scorpion one is the red scorpion that is mesoviuthus and second is the black scorpion that is palamnes which are of poisonous kind which are found in india so which part of the scorpion it produces the venom it is the glands in the terminal segment of the tail and what are the clinical features almost most of the stings they are of minor grade and after being stung by a poisonous scorpion the clinical features develop within 2 to 12 hours of the sting and what are the features they are local features or systemic features in the local features we have the intense pain at the site and there may be tapping over the site this tapping is known as tap test also the pain and numbness it may radiate up the extremity coming to the systemic features the systemic features may be of sympathetic parasympathetic or neuromuscular excitation so first initially there is transient cholinergic hyperactivity and that is followed by sustained adrenergic hyperactivity so in the transient cholinergic hyperactivity what are the features they are the features of restlessness anxiety vomiting profuse sweating salivation sensation of tongue thickening dysphagia bradycardia hypotension and priapism the features of sustained adrenergic hyperactivity include hypertension tachycardia chest discomfort cold extremities and myocardial failure so the hypertension it develops within 6 hours of the sting and pulmonary edema it develops within 2 to 20, uh, 56 hours of being stung in the late stages there may be hypotension and shock features may be there what are the ecg findings it is may be of myocarditis so coming to the management of this scorpion sting first of all we need to give mild analgesics for pain relief tetanus vaccine can be given according to the immune status of the patient there has to be monitoring of cardiac rhythm oxygen saturation conduction disturbances if there is respiratory failure the patient has to be intubated correction of the fluid deficit and in this a special attention has to be given not to give large amount of fluid without proper monitoring because there can be risk of pulmonary edema the antidote for scorpion stings is prazosin and the alternative for that is nifedipin however nifedipin should be avoided in presence of tachycardia and impending congestive heart failure if there is hypotension dopamine infusion can be given to control pulmonary edema furosemide can be given and glucose insulin infusion may be beneficial in case of systemic envenomation and role of serotherapy that is use of scorpion antivenin is controversial that's all about the clinical features and management of scorpion stings thank you